Hey there, it's Garrett here, and in this video we're going to be talking about what MIG welding is and just kind of give you an overview of exactly what MIG welding is and how it's different from the other welding processes. When you, uh, when you might have seen other people that are welding, you might have seen them holding a uh, what they call a stick welder or an arc welder where it's got a long stick and they're burning the stick and that's the electrode that, that actually burns it creates an arc and it melts the metal and the filler rod is, is the rod. It's called stick welding or arc welding. Well, as that rod burns into the metal, it burns the rod down slowly, 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 slowly and that's the filler metal for the weld bead. So when you see a weld bead, that, fi that weld bead came from the filler metal that's on the rod. Well, the difference between stick welding like that and MIG welding is that MIG welding uses a wire. It comes on a wire roll and it constantly, the, the wire comes out, is fed constantly and so when you press the MIG gun button, here I'll show you, and this is the MIG gun button, or this is the MIG gun, I'm sorry, but this is the button and when you press uh, the trigger of the MIG gun, this wire automatically starts feeding into the weld puddle and so this is your electrode whereas with the stick welder you would use your your welding rod, that would be the electrode. So this comes, this wire is inside this machine and it comes on a roll. Uh, you can buy them in different uh, weights, uh, different amounts of wire. The bigger machines will use bigger rolls. But the advantage of using a MIG welder is that it's the easiest process, it's the e easiest welding process for beginners to learn. Because really all you're doing is you're, you're, you're putting the wire to the piece of metal that you're, that you're welding on and you're pulling the trigger. So it's, it's really easy for beginners to pick up whereas stick welding takes a little more practice to learn how to do. Um, so basically we'll go over more about uh, the MIG welding machine and uh, how it works, how to get your settings set up correctly, how to install the wire in your machine, how to get all the settings correct, uh, how to get the drive rolls to make sure you're on the correct setting. We'll go over all that in a future video, but I just wanted to give you an overview of, of uh, why MIG welding is, is such a good process for beginners to learn because it really is the easiest method for beginners to start out with because it's just, it's just a simple method to learn. So uh, with that said, I will see you in the next video.